Quick, tell me. Your god has returned. We are reviewing the Western Rampant Rocket. It will cost you $925,000. There was a time when no respectable motorist would admit to owning a trike. It was a kink you worked out on your own once everyone else was in bed behind soundproofed garage doors. And then one day the rampant rocket launched and everything changed. Once that supercharger found its way between your legs, it was impossible to be discreet and impossible to feel ashamed. This is what liberation looks like. What she need then? Anything I can do? Anything at all? Some machine under that bonnet. I hope you know how to use this thing. Bodywork to match the driver. Looking good. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permitting. can think it, I can do it. Think long and hard. Next time. Speed and weapons tests are next up. We begin here and end at the signal lights. It took the car 23 seconds. Weapons tests now. 
The two weapons are the Mark II Combat MG with incendiary rounds. The second is the Mark I Compact Rifle. Both have extended clips. The last bullet counted will be the one that brings up the black box saying the car has been destroyed. The Mark I compact rifle took one clip and 21 bullets for a total of 81 bullets. The Mark II MG took 54 bullets in total. Quit, Tawi! Heed your god, Master. I might prove to conquer evil. I'll provide you a solid review of this primitive long vehicle. Is it a car? Is it a bike? No, it's a tricycle with an engine. This tricycle refers to in GTA as far as I'm aware is extremely agile. It has the same speed as the supercars, but I'm guessing because of its low profile, it makes you think that you're actually faster. But the best way to describe this tricycle is to think of it more like a person that has just downed its first glass of champagne. That means is wandering all over the place and doesn't have a clue what's going on because a simple bump will send you spinning this in this thing or it'll just throw you off altogether. I was surprised how bare bone the customization was in terms of cosmetics like the liveries now they're beautiful beautiful work as always but apart from modding the engine and the customizations like the liveries and all, it is a very, very bare bone. I mean, I thought they could have done a couple of different tire designs uh, for the front and the rear wheels. Um, maybe like on. Uh, the bikers uh, bikes, the you know, like the ones lost in the damn news, they could add a couple of seat options. But if you was to get flung off this bucking bronco of a motorized tricycle, then it'll cost you just shy or maybe just a little over a million dollars for the trike and all its mods. I gotta say, it looks like the car in the Simpsons episode, The Day the Violence Died, that the original creator of Veggie and Scratchy bought the rocket car. I wonder if it is, you know, based off that. I don't know for sure, but it's a theory. And is this tricycle needed? No, because it is a motorized fucking bronco but also if you want to have a laugh then yes it is needed because you're going to get a laugh how many times and how little force from mounting a curb it takes to send you spinning or send you into the hospital and that's my thoughts you want to laugh get it you don't want to laugh Stay away at warp speed. If you wish a moment's joy, 
while not providing services to your god, then purchase it by all means. If not, return to your duties. Time will pray! If this was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe if you thought it was worth watching. And don't forget to ring the doorbell to know when I put up a new video or I stream. And I hope you will stay safe, sleep well, and I wish you a good morning, a good evening, or a good night based upon the location of your rotation. This is Vasir, signing off.